Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to install WordPress. If you'd like to follow this tutorial, please go ahead and watch our last tutorial on ZAMP uh, and how to install ZAMP. So go ahead to WordPress.org and download the file. The link will be in the description box. I'm just going to close that because I already have it. Here, the links on my fault well, not the link, the folder is on my desktop. So I'm going to double click that and it comes up with all these files here. Uh, okay, basically, the easiest way to do this is just going to WP admin. And then over here you'll find install.php, drag that over to Firefox, and it should come up with an error, PHP is not running, and uh, I didn't know how to get this to work. So I finally figured out how, and I'm going to show you. So just go ahead and close that off, and what we're going to do is we're going to go my computer, we're going to go local disk, ZAMP, htdocs, and finally you want to drag your WordPress folder into this folder here. So I'm just going to drag it there and it's moved it. So now WordPress is in my htdocs folder. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. And then here I'm going to go back to ZAMP. So I just log into ZAMP and log into PHP my admin. It should come here. And I'm going to go databases. And I'm going to create a new database called uh, WordPress. Okay, go create. Now you've got the database here. Just go check privileges. And you want to add a new user. So just go here, add user. And I'm going to go username gecko. Uh, host is localhost. Uh, I'm not going to put in a password. Or oh, actually, I should. <laughs> so, uh, gecko123, gecko123. I'm going to grant it all privileges. I'm going to check all uh, global privileges over there. And I'm going to click add user. So now my user has added over here. So I can log in on WordPress. So if I type in over here, I type in localhost. Uh, host not hoist 81 forward slash wordpress it comes up with a, we need to make a wp config file so just go create a config file it says here we need a name a database name a username password a host and a table prefix that's really simple let's go so now here uh, on the database name the database name is wordpress the username as you can remember is gecko the password is gecko one two three it is on my local host and the prefix is WP so click submit and here you come up to a thing saying run the install so just click run the install and here we've come to the main page to set up WordPress so here I'm gonna make my site gecko Inc and uh, under username I'm gonna make the username admin the password is also going to be admin just to make it easy uh, the email I will put in the ink the inked gecko at hotmail.com and I'm gonna go install WordPress. So now it should take a while. And uh, basically here you'll have your username and your password. So go log in. Now your username here, my username was admin and my password was admin as well. Just click remember me and log in. And you should be logged into WordPress, as you can see here, where you can go ahead and download whatever you want, uh, really get ahead and uh, start learning how to design websites. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Watch out for more.